Hi, Kate. We're here today to hear a little bit about your story, about your plant-based journey, how you see veg has been a support to you, how that's influenced your, your professional life and your personal life. So thank you for being here today. Tell me a little bit about what was going on in your life prior to that. Well, you know, we always tried to eat really healthy. I have four daughters and we always were careful about, we grew a lot of our own produce and if we didn't have a lot of meat, if we did, it was usually locally sourced or what we grew ourselves. But, and, and I have a daughter who's been vegan for five years, so I wasn't full, completely unfamiliar. I'd always, like I helped her with her recipes and figuring out what to do because I wanted to be sure she did it in a healthy manner. Um, I became aware of um, Dr. Michael Greger. He was coming to speak and I thought, well, I better read his book. And as soon as I literally had read like the first chap chapter, I was like floored. I have been a nurse for about 33 years and I actually went back to school and I finished my master's degree in 2018, so recent, and I had never been taught any of this. This wasn't something that was out there at the forefront of, of healthcare education for, doc, for nurses or doctors or, or anyone in the healthcare field. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah. so you took that and what did you decide to do next for, you, for yourself, for your family? And how did you integrate that information into your, your practice? So um, my, you know, I'm the cook in the family, so that makes it really easy. And right now we currently have one, just only one child left at home and she's actually grown. But I told my husband, I said, this is what I read. This is what I researched. We're gonna go plant-based. <laughs> he was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Perfect. No but, resistance. Exactly. So, and he's always, you know, I've always struggled with my weight. He doesn't. He's a slender person to start with. Um, but yeah, he went for it. And we just, we really just went cold turkey. And it was, you know, I started maybe two or three weeks before the UC Veg class. I signed up for that immediately because I thought I want more information about this. And I learned so much. So, and I know you, you came with a couple of friends. Yeah. You did the, the full 13 weeks. And of course then coronavirus hit. Tell us about the impact of the course and how have you been carrying that through this time frame? I'm not even tempted to go back. So one of the things that I constantly strive to do is to reach out and find new recipes and things that keep it interesting. But it really helps because our really good friends went through the program with us and they did the same thing. They're the same age we are and they're like, we're never going back. So um, we sometimes do outside, like a little outside barbecue with our social distancing uh, for vegan stuff because you want to keep doing those things that you would do. Food is such a, a big part of our culture. And of course then, um, what I found though is that once we started doing this, there were so many people around us that also got interested in it, like our future son-in-law and now my other daughter. So half of my children are now eating plant-based, his mother, my cousin, <clears throat> who's down in California, and unbeknownst to me, she'd had a, a doctor's appointment and some testing done about the time I started the, the class. And I, I felt like, you know, a lot of people that I was around were came to me and said, oh, I really wanna do this, but I'm afraid of social stigma or whatever. And I decided as a nurse in the community, I wanted to be vocal about it. So I was really vocal on social media. I spread a lot of education and evidence and studies. And my cousin had had this testing done and where she was told that her cholesterol was sky high. Her, um, she had a lot of calcification in her heart, in the arteries in her heart. And the doctor said to her, if you don't do something, you're gonna die. And, but yet they didn't tell her what to do. And she literally had just been to the doctor, opened up Facebook, saw my post and called me. And we had this long conversation and we got her set up with Dr. Michael Greger's books. Um, I told her about Forks Over Knives. We got some some recipe books for her and she they went. And her husband was totally not, he said, no, we're gonna use all of the animal products in the house first. And then he watched Game Changers, oh. which I think is a really powerful movie for <laughs> men. And uh, that was it. So they went fully. Three months later, she got tested again and her cholesterol was in half of what it had been, which was over 100 points down. Wow. And she, she had been close to 300 and it was down to like 150. Oh 
and her the um, scan for the calcifications the calcifications were going away and her arteries were opening and clearing up in three months amazing amazing That's so amazing so kate you've been doing this for a while yourself while influencing so many other people have you noticed any changes for yourself and your own physiology oh most definitely i've lost 42 pounds and I literally, there's something that happens when you eat like this that changes your measurements in general. Mm. I lost nine inches around my waist. Wow. I'm down three sizes. Oh, that's huge. It's, it's huge. I was huge. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, my body, it's slowed down. I'm not losing weight so fast now, but I, I'm, it feels pretty comfortable where I am. My energy level, like I just turned 52. I feel 32. I, it's like that's nothing. Nice. Yeah. I think the energy level is the most yeah. exciting. And I and that just makes me recall somewhat someone else just recently said was that after they ate, they would crash. And it's like food is supposed to energize us to get more done, to help us serve our purpose, to help us, you know, live our best life. And to see that happening for you is very exciting. Okay, so what have you been doing now with all this new energy? I know you guys are big gardeners. What else is going on? So yeah, gardening has been a big deal because I can tell you for the last few years, like literally just bending over for any length of time was so uncomfortable. And I, I was, I would be for no reason. I'll tell you something else that changed. I have asthma, a little bit of asthma with these allergies and with, um, a cold and stuff, and since I went plant-based, I have not had to use my inhaler one time. It's completely gone. And I went out, like I, we had a bunch of peas growing in our garden that I needed to take out. And it was a time-consuming process because I had done wrapped the beans I'd planted and then put them back on the trellis. I was out there for eight hours, like squatted and bent over. It was like nothing. There's uh, like eight hours straight. That's a lot of physical That's work. Incredible. Being bent over squat, squatting when you're, you know, a middle-aged yeah. woman. Yeah. It was like nothing. And I think that's so important to know because it's like, okay, these numbers may change, you know, we may see even, you know, inches off our waist, but what does that actually translate to in your life? What are you actually able to do? So that's such a great example. Well, is there anything else that you want to share? Um, I just, you know, I would just say everybody should do this. I mean, this is like, this is a no brainer in my mind. If you could, if you could prevent yourself from getting um, heart disease, if you could prevent Alzheimer's, if you can, you know, prevent diabetes. I mean, we all have genetic predispositions to things, but eating this way can keep those genes from firing. Why would you not choose that? Yeah. Well said. Thank you so much, Kate, for sharing your story today.